Good evening. It is Friday, August 26th, 2022. And uh, back by uh, unpopular demand is the uh, third installment, a trilogy, if you will, of, uh, of, of my weight loss saga, how I lost that, 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 or how I gained that, 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 in blank amount of days. So, um, a uh, quick math issue here for me. Let me uh, do, the, do the arithmetic in my head. Carry the 2 minus 5 divided by 3.14 equals... No, I think uh, I memorized this part. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I lost uh, 10 pounds this month um, from the last video. I did 28. It's not even a month. 20, I'm doing these videos every 28 days. Um, you know, until I stop making them. So this is the third video. So uh, now I'm gonna forget. Okay, so it's 41. So I lost 10 pounds this month. So it's 41 pounds in 83 days. So I don't think it's exactly 28 days. Uh, so it's the, but it's the fourth month. So I, <laughs> it's the third video. But uh, so I started, uh, um, you know, keeping track back on, uh, uh, I think it was June 6th. So, uh, the math might be a little bit off, but, uh, I think it's 41 pounds in 83 days. So that averages out, uh, to like a pound every other day, pretty much exactly. And, uh, uh, the the danger here in in now that we're at the th the trilogy as I just said earlier is that uh, I'm just going to keep repeating myself you know like uh, even even the, even in Star Wars by the time I get to the third movie you're like yeah I already I, I already saw the Ewoks it was like Chewbacca like Chewbacca was the original Ewok right so <laughs> um, so uh, yeah yeah. Let's just forget I just said that. Can I edit that part out? No, it's a cell phone. Oh, uh, you know what was interesting? This week was um, a Channel uh, 5 reporter uh, caught me coming off a bus down by North Station and uh, uh, asked me a question uh, normally uh, about, the, about the, uh, the shuttle buses and the Orange Line being shut down and whatnot. And uh, uh, normally I would be kind of, um, you know, uh, a little bit... Um, you know, taken aback by having a, a cameraman with the thing right in my face. But since I'm so used to doing this crap, um, it didn't phase me in the least. So, uh, you know, I got, I got a really clever one-liner there about uh, giving the, uh, the Orange Line, uh, 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 the Orange Line, the, the, the shuttle bus is a solid C, which uh, just uh, is going to follow me around that, that, that line till, uh, till my death, I'm sure. I mean, when I go on Twitter, I see that that's just gone viral. Uh, the, the whole thing, the, this this whole craze of the uh, solid C rating. But um, yeah, it was fun, and uh, I, I had told uh, my my fiance to uh, uh, watch the news because I was at work and I wasn't sure if it would be on or not. So when she told me that she saw it, <laughs> she actually recorded it uh, while uh, while I was at war. Then. Once she filled me in, then I was able to, uh, through the miracle of modern technology, I had my phone with me, so I recorded it, uh, the, the, the following newscast, and was able to get a copy of uh, um, me saying uh, Solid C. But uh, they take you total. I had talked for quite a while over, you know, about, uh, like, maybe for like 90 seconds, it's like that long, not like one of these videos. But I, I had told her how the day before the commuter rail hadn't, um, hadn't run, and uh, you know, I, that was the first day of the of, of the whole um, the whole thing last Monday. And uh, that when I went down to the commuter rail station, the train wasn't working because of some sort of malfunction or whatever. And so I told the reporter, you know, in comparison to yesterday, today was a lot smoother. So two days in, it was a solid C, meaning the day before was an F, and maybe today, meaning Tuesday, was like a B. But the only part that you wanted to hear was solid C because that's what I said originally and then the two quotes that they did use on the broadcast were played backwards and I tell you the media every time I deal with them they they, they take me out of context but it was funny uh, I was thinking back um, you know the last time that happened when I had a reporter on my face was uh, at the at the old garden and uh, I remember um, 
just kind of freezing out. I think it was like some. It was like the what, the last year of the garden. They wanted my thoughts on it, whatever. I didn't really say anything. I was kind of just frozen because I saw like the red light. You know, it was like freaking Cindy Brady or whatever when she froze and when the light was on her. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but um, you know. So you know. Plus, I'm a lot older now. I was back when I was 22 or whatever. But they never used what I said that day, which I don't. It couldn't have been any more um, profound than solid C. But uh, we live in a soundbite culture now, back as opposed to the, the culture we lived in back in 1987 or 88 or whatever the hell it was. But, um, all right, so I knew this video. I, I've already said, I, I've said it all in the first two, right? I, I think um, the, the keys uh, to, to losing weight, uh, uh, having that uh, app that I have, the, my, the keys for me anyway. Uh, have it being diligent and knowing that I get to make a, a, a video on my progress every 28 days. Um, that's 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 one of the uh, things that has uh, kind of um, spurred me on. I guess I don't know. I just thought of it earlier today. I got to do a video. It's 28 days, but um, but having uh, having that uh, my fitness pal app and having to log in at the end of the day, everything you did, and basically Monday through Friday, I just kind of stick to the the plan that I have an apple in the morning. Um, um, and what else do I do? <laughs> um, a sensible lunch, you know, nothing over like four or 500 calories there and, um, grapes for a snack as opposed to, um, uh, before I was just inhaling, uh, M&Ms on my, on my, you know, during the day. Now it's grapes. So those, those are my two fruits for the day. <laughs> and, uh, and then, um, you know, I, I don't eat uh, I don't eat ice cream when I come home at night. On the weekend, I might have a dish or whatever. Um, I said I might as well reward myself instead of having three or four dishes. I can have a dish and, I go, and lots and lots of ice cold water. What I do is I stick three uh, three of those big bottles, those two liter bottles, up in my freezer. And every morning, I, I I'll defrost one. Like I'll, I'll I'll stick it in for like three minutes, and then I have that. Um, you know, cold. Actually, more, more or less at night when I when I come in. So I defrost the bottle, um, and it's still frozen. And then so I, I drink that as opposed to before I was drinking Coke, and uh, I just drink water. So I haven't had soda um, in like I don't know, like three months. And that's really helped. So those are the two main things uh, in, in staying under. Um, you know, originally I was only doing like 1,200 calories a, a, a day. And I was losing the first few weeks, losing like five pounds a week, but that was I had a lot more weight to lose at that point. So now we're down to like two, three pounds a week, which I think is more uh, healthier. Um, so I went from 1,200 calories uh, a day for the first uh, you know month, month and a half, and then I went you know kind of uh, you know uh, went up to about 14, 1500, and uh, you know if I lose another you know 15, I hope 15 to 20. And then, uh, you know, I'm going to try to stay, uh, you know, under, um, ultimately under, under 2000 every day, hopefully the rest of my life, <laughs> because I, I think you have to make changes, small changes. Like that's all I really did. Um, you know, and I had done it before, like eight years ago. And then, uh, my mistake was when I reached a certain point, I was like, oh, all right, I can go back to, you know, eating and, and drinking what I did before, but just stay under that 2,000 calories or whatever. And that didn't work because, uh, especially when you, you, you're throwing sugar into the equation, um, that just makes you, you know, want to have more. It's like having a couple of beers or whatever in my case and saying, well, I'll just have two and I'll call it a night. It's just, for me anyway, that wasn't working. So, um, like I had touched on before, um, if you treat the work week with the same discipline that you do at work with your job, with all the tasks you have to do and, and treat Monday through Friday as your, um, you know, stay regimented with, with everything. Why can't you do that? You know, why can't you do anything in life, right? Why can't you climb Mount Kilimanjaro? Well, that ain't happening for me anytime soon, but, um, you know, uh, in, in the, the goal for me, of course, um, having a fiance who's a lot younger than me, um, I don't want, uh, you know, her to be alone for any longer than that, if, that I can control, you know, I, I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm going to go first, but I'm going to leave this world kicking and screaming and try to do the right thing health wise. And, um, 
like I say, I'm up to 10 minutes now. And I haven't said anything other than, like I say, blah, 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 blah. But um, I, I think, uh, you know, I've done it a couple times before. Um, don't give up everything that you like to eat because, you know, God wants us to enjoy, you know, the good, the good things that are, that, are, <laughs> that are available to us in this world. Um, uh, just give up the things that, um, you know, are, are um, you know, the sugar stuff, you know, uh, just give up, um, you know, like, uh, ice cream and, and, uh, soda. I think soda is the main thing, you know, soda for me, cause I would, I would slug back four or five cans of Coke a day. So, um, I think that slows down your metabolism. It's kind of like a, you know, just kind of gets it, especially at night, you know, if I'm just, you know, drinking a ton of water before I go to bed. Then your metabolism is all jump started during the night to you know burn calories in too, but if you're just all weighed down before you go to bed because you you know your temptations when you're watching TV and whatever, if you're all weighed down by um, all the sugar and, and uh, ice cream and um, soda or whatever, you're not going to burn any calories. You know, you know all you're going to do is burn uh, burn bridges <laughs> to your weight loss goals. <laughs> Uh, so we're up to 11 minutes now. Uh, I don't know. I might have to edit this down. I don't think I can. I don't, I'll leave it. I'll leave it the way it is. So, um, yeah. So, uh, what did I say at the beginning? Just like that interview the other day was, uh, <laughs> if, uh, if they let me go on for 11 minutes there, on news, I would have been happy to just, just tell them my whole life story. And, and luckily I made the news for something that was like in that regard. I mean, the way I was going, you know, back in the... 80s and 90s, you know, could have been, on the, could have been leading off the news <laughs> in handcuffs, who knows, <laughs> but uh, anyway, that was a, an experience. All right, we're done, and uh, yeah, 41 pounds in 83 days, man, I am just, <sighs> the picture of health, boy, am I hungry. <laughs> when you talk about food, you get hungry, but um, yeah, so um, I'll make another one in another 21 days, and we'll see, uh, 21, 28 days, and we'll see where we're at, and uh, Hopefully, if I can do nine more pounds, that'll bring me up to uh, 50. <laughs> Life begins at 50. <laughs> Who knows? After that, maybe run triathlons. I don't know. Whatever. Anything is possible. All right. We're done. <sighs> Adios.